Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Welcome to another edition of Zips Weekly. I'm your host, Scott Nixon. Today we are getting to know women's golfer Danielle Nicholson. How are you doing this afternoon after that workout? Oh, great. <laughs> well, this should be a fun interview. Are you excited? I'm very excited. You ready to go? Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Do you like traditional wings or boneless? Traditional. Yeah, me too. I definitely am all with you on that. And do you have a favorite home-cooked meal? Uh, panko chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans. I'm coming over for dinner. <laughs> and then, do you have any favorite social media? Uh, I'll have to go with Instagram. Oh, I'm a big Instagram. I'm always looking at the Discover page, double tap in a way. <laughs> and then, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Um, I'd have to go with the ability to fly. I think it'd be really neat to be like a bird, get to see everything. Would you fly across the ocean? No. No. That's a long flight. Fly across the golf course. I like your thinking. <laughs> if you could be any cartoon character, who would you be and why? <sighs> I'd have to go with Pluto, probably, because he's pretty cute. So. Not a bad answer. And then, if you... Do you have a favorite golfer of any kind? Um, Tom Watson, actually. Hmm. Do you have a favorite course? Uh, well, Portage Country Club, of course. Smooth answer. And that was getting to know Danielle Nicholson. Any final thoughts? Now let's check out this week's highlights of football. Akron Zips football in Huntington, West Virginia, taking on Marshall. Zips found themselves down 21-7 early, but outscored the Thundering Herd 34-0 in the second quarter, in route to winning 65-38. 65 points, the second most scored in school history. Led by quarterback Thomas Woodson, who threw for four touchdowns while adding one on the ground. Wide receiver JoJo Natson finished with seven grabs, 134 yards, and a score. Running back Manny Morgan ran for 130 yards in his first career start. The Zips getting ready to host Appalachian State this Saturday at InfoCision Stadium. Zips volleyball wrapping up non-conference play at the West Virginia Invitational. They defeat Dartmouth 4-1. to Senior Amanda Bedell led the way with 13 kills. Senior Carly Kuzan had a double-double with 42 assists and 20 digs. Zips then taken on the West Virginia Mountaineers. They would fall in three sets. Kayla Vuge and Carly Kuzan led the way with five kills apiece. Zips wrap up the tournament against Winthrop, and they would win in three sets, improving to 5-7 and seven on the year. Seniors Carly Kusan and Brenna Mack were named to the all-tournament team. Zips getting ready for their first match in Mac play as they travel down to OU. Nationally ranked Zips men's soccer taking on Tulsa. They would win 2-1. Shane Wheat scored his first career goal, and Izana Kase scored the game winner in the 88th minute, his second of the season. Akron Zips men's soccer finishing up their road trip. They would fall to SMU 4-3 in overtime. Adam Najem scored two goals, and Gonzalo Sorez scored another. They dropped to 5-3 and three on the year. Their next game is Tuesday, September 27th versus VCU. Zips women's soccer falls to Duquesne 2 to nothing. Duquesne scores a goal in each half, and the Zips are unable to find the back of the net. Akron finishes non-conference play with a 3-5 and five record before getting ready to head down to Miami for the first MAC game of the year. Zips cross country at the Virginia Tech Alumni Invitational. The women's team would finish fourth overall, and the men's team would place fifth. The Zips return to action at the All-Ohio Cross Country Championships September 30th. Akron Zips Women's Golf at the Drake Creek Invitational, they finished third place overall. Danielle Nicholson finished tied for fourth with a three over par total score. Zips Women's Tennis at the Greater Cincinnati Invitational, Louisa Echeverry was the strongest performer for the Zips. She made it all the way to the finals before falling in two sets. 
The Zips are getting ready to prepare for their lone home meet of the season in the Akron Shootout September 23rd through 25th. This week's Student Athlete of the Week, presented by the University of Akron, is Zips wide receiver JoJo Natson. Natson finished Saturday's game with seven catches, 134 yards, and a touchdown. 